This Is My Story is an occasional series of short devotions based around the Bible, the experiences of Open Table members, reflection and prayer. A reading from Matthew 7, verses 9 to 11. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for bread, will give a stone? Or if the child asks for a fish, will give a snake? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who ask him? I've always known that I was transgender. Outside the classroom of my year two primary school teacher, it crystallised in my mind for the first time. But far from bringing me peace, it brought me fear. I resolved to never reveal this secret to anyone else. I would keep it hidden in my own heart. But as well as being confusing, that started a pattern of internalised hatred and transphobia. The only person I felt I could tell was God. I wasn't a person of faith and my family didn't go to church. But age six, I began a nightly ritual that lasted for years. I would time myself for an hour when I got into bed. I prayed that I would wake up and that God would have fixed the problem, that I would have woken up with a new gender. By 17, confusion completely reigned. God had not answered my fervent prayers and so my tactics changed. With tears and groans I cried out to be healed. I confessed, I received prayer, I was counselled. I tried my hardest to stop being less than what I thought was the best God had for me. I sank into a cycle of shame where every time I let myself be myself I was racked with guilt. And then age 38... Our magnificent, beautiful and loving God intervened. One piece of scripture, the one I read earlier, changed everything. It felt like I'd spent over 30 years asking God to give me the bread of freedom. But all that crying out got me was the stone of defeat. I realised that either this scripture isn't true and that when you ask, your Heavenly Father gives stones instead of bread. Or that being transgender was bread and I was mistaking it for stone. Maybe God does love me as I am. Since then, reading the Bible with that lens has led me to a hope and a euphoria greater than I could ever have possibly imagined. Reflect for a moment on what it would mean for you if you really believed that God gives good gifts to his children. Imagine that one of those gifts was true authenticity. You are able to be completely yourself before God with no judgment. Think what a difference that could make to your life and to your faith. A prayer. Loving God, today let us see ourselves through your eyes. Help us to recognise that you have plans to prosper us, to give us a hope and a future. Grant that we may spend our lives knowing that you are our refuge and our strength. Amen. Sarah Hobbs is the co-chair of the Open Table Network. She is also an ordinand training within the Church of England. This devotion was read by the author.